do a lot to Sheik and could kill her off that grab at, you know, 60, 70%. And that Absolutely. could make her life hell. Uh, looks like we're going to start on Talon City, too. Somehow Kiefer convincing okay. Javi to start off here. He tricked him. Like, I don't know how he did that. He just... <laughs> This is not the stage I don't want to play DK on, but I'm sure, you know, Javi's probably have some kind of experience with this matchup. Sure. Uh, I'm sure he's at least seen videos of, of disasters happening to uh, Sheik players. Already 35% there. He, he's Kiefer. halfway there, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing just fine, and Javi can dance around him. And that's one of the re... He doesn't have jump. Wow. Well... Probably a miscalculation. Looked like he didn't mean to go past the ledge like that. Yeah. And, and, and dude, you know, honestly, he's still in there. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I mean, like, as long as he doesn't take too much damage from Sheik at these low percents, but the problem is that, you know, that's where she kind of shines. She can just get these grabs and get these free bouncing fish. Right now, 62% on Kiefer. <laughs> My dude Kiefer had that 15 minutes of fame with that 35% too. <laughs> <since then. laughs> the one grab of fame. 15% of fame, unfortunately. Did not last very long. Right now, Kiefer just getting uh, obliterated by Javi, and, and this Jesus. is what I was talking about. Once you're off on the side, there's nothing He really you can do only got that one grab. <laughs> he really, <laughs> I, I was, was making a joke about it, but he really only did that. Your grab, Nair, Bear, and that's it. Those are your three hits. The worst part is you're playing against Javi. This man has no emotion at all. Yeah. He's just playing that shit. Like, he doesn't even care what, to, I'll go right back to town and say, you do it. <laughs> this man says, I'll play DK on Halberd. Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like Town and City was one of the best stages for him, but we're going over to Battlefield instead, hoping he can survive maybe does, a little bit longer. Does the stage really matter if you can't even touch your opponent? <laughs> I guess <laughs> not, know? no. Do matchups matter if you can, if you're not playing the game? I mean, you pick a smaller <laughs> stage so you can maybe touch them. Like, there, there's less distance to travel, I would imagine. And there we go, the grab, the key for special. <laughs> Getting some damage off with that up throw. That's what he's known for, I mean, that's all he's <laughs> ever done. <laughs> All right, so I, I believe though, you know, it must have, that that first game was pretty rough. Uh, Javi really kind of took control. I think if Keeper can get out of this this trap off the ledge, then he can start playing Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like honestly, one of the biggest problems is when you die like that and you just get so low and you realize that you didn't have a jump, and it can kind of not really put you on tilt, but it can put you in a situation where you're like, okay, can we just get to the next match, please? And your heart isn't really in it. That could have happened to Keeper there. With that, Javi trying to cover the low option Keeper, realizing that goes high instead. But still, again, this is another another player where I'd say he's really spent most of these matches off the stage. Yeah. Ooh! Ouch. I thought that went over here, all the way behind the curtain, man. Yeah, that was, yikes, that hurts. Gets the diamond cutter off on the side. But Kiefer, you know, he is at 69% uh, Javi. So if he can just get that grab, Battlefield is a little bit bigger, but that might do him some favors with that forward air. You can see him kind of throwing that hand out there. That's what he's looking for, man. Javi, no fear at all. He says even if I lose the stock, honestly, Javi's, Javi's nothing to worry about. Kiefer's got to watch that normal getup. He keeps doing normal getup, and Javi does, keeps just grabbing him right away. I don't think it really matters what getup he does. It seems like Javi's just waiting. He's ready and waiting for every single getup option. Yeah. And this is the hard part. DK doesn't really have a lot of options here, you know? He doesn't have a really good ledge jump option or, like, ledge drop jump option either. There, there's really no way to get off. I mean, like, you might be able to mix it up by doing, like, a drop second jump up air, but you got to hope that Javi isn't shielding. Yeah, like, I hope you don't get so hit risky. and lose your jump off stage, you know? Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah, way that's, too high. Yeah, it's not going to work at this point. The rage is also just doing no favors for Kiefer. If he could get the stock off soon, he might be okay just being able to utilize that rage. But unfortunately, that will not be the case. Javi defeats Kiefer 2-0, who does, you know, a better job in that second game.